first you gotta really relax. If you don't relax, the break is not gonna be good, right? Yeah, we don't call it break, by the way. Well, I call it, you break me, that. I call it break. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just That's meant. not gonna play good on the internet. I just. <laughs> so again, I gotta be more firm on this side. Good. That was a good sound. That was a good sound, huh? Yeah. And that was about the exact right pressure on that one. I think that was probably perfect. Uh, I'm going to help her with balance today, which is going to optimize her body enough so that rheumatoid arthritis is not an issue. It's still always going to be an issue. It's in her body, but she's going to feel better because her body is at least balanced. Um, so uh, tell us, why are you here? Okay, I start having a really bad pain in my back and then it just starts shooting. In April, April to sure. April, and then start shooting to my leg and to the point where I couldn't even walk. Yeah, she's had a history of right hip pain for years, right? Yes. And what did you do there? I have a hip replacement on my right hip. Total hip replacement, and so she thinks that's the, the cat's meow, she hasn't any problems with it, but she has a, when you see the x-rays, you'll see the full hip replacement in there. Um, interesting thing is too, she's had nine surgeries. So tell us about these nine surgeries real quick. Hands, feet. Um, ankles, elbows, um, another one in my feet, hip replacement. Um, it's like I even forgot the count of. <laughs> the brain, did, you, did you do a brain replacement too? Any As, brain? Any what? Brain replacement? Not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so That's what I, don't, I don't have the arthritis here yet. Not okay? yet. That's what I'm here. <laughs> exactly. So, um, so um, why all these different surgeries, by the way? I'm kind of curious. Everything hurt and the doctors yeah, talking? Yeah, it's because, yeah, the, uh, my joints. My, yeah, I yeah. lost my joints and they said yeah, uh, the, yeah. the biggest mistake Did is Did they find here. any surgery? I'm sorry? Did they find your joints in surgery? I'm sorry, she can't keep up with the jokes. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to laugh at my own joke. Ha, 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 ha. No, they didn't find the joints. So, anyways. <laughs> So uh, the most amazing thing is I wanted to go through that laundry list, not to, not to go down each one of the surgeries, but to tell you that this freaking girl teaches what? Zumba. Zumba. I'm an instructor. She's a freaking instructor. And I so, need my help. Yeah. Fucking A. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, she goes out and teaches people. She works hard and she is as limited as somebody could be, but she doesn't let it get her down. So I love her for that. So, um, uh, but she has some pain I want to help her with. Now tell us about what you've done for this pain. Uh, I've been taking medication for the nerve. Um, I've been exercising uh, uh, according to the therapist, and that's about it. Then I keep on doing my zoom. <laughs> how much? How much? How much physical therapy have you done? No, uh, no not really. Yeah, but then you gone to the physical therapist to do it. Uh, they told you how to do these exercises, right? Yes. So the, the, I'm only trying to get to the point, guys. Is what could a physical therapist teach her that she doesn't do in Zumba already? I mean, she's as good a shape as she could possibly get. So it's the joke, physical therapy. Oh, and sorry, I, also had, I also had three shots of uh, epidural sorry, on top of it. <laughs> what was that? I have uh, three shots of epidural. Cocktails, what? No, epidural. Oh, uh, uh, epidural, epidural, I'm sorry. Injection. Yeah, epidural. Alcohol. No, no. So she's had injections. I've been having that too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then over, touch toes, please. Touch best you can. Okay, what do you feel there? Right here again. Oof. Again, on a scale of 110, what is that pain? Oh, that, that was a six. That's a six, stand up, yeah. please. And when she comes up, her heart's coming up too, right? Uh, yeah, just like about three. Right now, about three. Okay, go ahead and go back, please. How about that? Maybe two. Two? Put okay. your arms down. Look at the floor. Any pain in your neck there? Mm, just very mild. Oh, okay. scale of one to ten, what is that? One. one. Look at the ceiling. How Nothing. about that? Nothing. Nothing? Okay, so, and squat to the ground, please. And what are you feeling in your back? Or knees? Mm, like maybe a one in the back. Okay. Knees, nothing. Going to go? Good. So, x rays. Your x rays absolutely are awful. I know. Awful. So, first thing you guys are going to see is that total hip replacement. You're going to be like, oh, hip replacement. Um, it's bad, and oh, the hip replacement is not causing her back. She has an MRI, or MRI doesn't have any herniatus, which I'm surprised because her back is messed up. Tons of arthritis. I mean, she has terrible arthritis. L4, L5, the 5S1. I'll point that out with some arrows. Um, scoliosis all on her neck, balance is completely off, and her neck, her reverse curve in her neck is not just a reverse curve, you can actually see a retrolysis of her, I think C5, on C6. It is shifted completely out of line and uh, causing tremendous amount of imbalance in her body. Like I said, pretty awful spine, 17 millimeter right imbalance, scoliosis and occipital tilt. Here we have right total hip replacement and significant arthritis. Here we have a retrolysis of C5, which causes all her problems and severe neck reversal. Here we have severe low back arthritis and rib calcification. Nice simple adjustment. Right where that reverse curve is, we're probably doing C5 right now. 
right where that retro ceases is. Go this way. Good, nice. Good. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Okay, just relax. Anything else you feel? Ouch with the adjustment. Anything else? Just a little pain right here. Okay. Good, nice. <laughs> Got out of it. Yeah. Stay right there. Now, um, you twitch a lot. See how you, you're making your, you're putting your chin up and down, up and down. You gotta relax when you get up. No twisting or turning, no moving your head around, okay? No moving your chin around. The more you do that, the more you undo my work. Okay. Okay, so stop going up and down, stop moving, okay? Those are all reaction guys to having long standing neck problems. She doesn't even know she does it. So, but she has to stop from doing it right now because if she does it, her body's gonna go backwards. There. Now, how do you feel? Dizzy at all? Um, just a little bit. Okay, don't twist. Look straight ahead. No, 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 twisting. Okay. Yeah, look straight ahead though. No, 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 no. Move anywhere. She what? She's a zoom instructor. She doesn't know how to stand still. I know. So look straight ahead. Arms down. This is the way I want you to walk down the hall. Okay. okay. No, 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 no. Relax, relax. There we go. When you walk, relax. Look straight ahead. This is going to recalibrate your spine. Okay, okay, so go to the front door, please. Don't move my arms. Don't move your arms. Just to remind everybody, this is called recalibration. We need to have her walk to spread the adjustment from her neck to her whole body. Let's see how she's doing. Uh, tell us about your arm. This is the stupidest story ever. Uh, she had surgery on it when? Many years ago. Just I was in my 30s. In your 30s? What did the doctor do? Well, the doctor says I need surgery, so okay. I go, okay. Yeah, okay. If I need surgery, I need and surgery. And then I went to therapy and I go, doctor, when am I going to put it straight? I said, no, you will never put it straight. And I go, why? Because I fuse it. And I go, what? <laughs> you I'm what? Sorry. I was like, that was the biggest mistake you of my life. You medical quacks are make me laugh out oh. there. So you guys will respond to this, but you guys are quacks. Who would fuse her freaking arm? I know, I know. Biggest mistake of my life. Yeah. Anyway, she had more motion before the surgery. Yes, definitely. Okay, so uh, give us uh, your flavor and what do you feel initially? Don't move anything, just the, off the top of your head. Is there any difference right now? Uh, like like a little bit of relax. Like, Good. I, I still have the, the tension. Of course, but, I just uh, want to know just yeah, the top of your head. What do you but feel? But relax, like something. I, I, like I, I feel like I have air in my head. Like I can breathe. No comment. That's an easy joke. Too easy, guys. <laughs> okay, so bend over, touch toes best you can. That was a six a minute ago. When I went down, I still have the pain gotcha. like on my way to two. A two? Like a two. So is it any better, or do you think it's better, or do you think we're just in your head? Mm, maybe it's just in my head. Okay, fair enough. Go ahead and go back. How about no, that? Nothing. Okay, is that just in your head or does that actually feel a little better? Uh, just in your head again? Just in my head again. <laughs> I think everything has to be in my head. <laughs> yeah, okay. Look at the floor, please. Okay, how's that? Any better? Worse, same? Same. Same? Look at the ceiling. How's that? No pain. No pain. So uh, a lot less pain, but you don't really believe it's actually, you're better, right? Yeah, gotcha. exactly. That's, <laughs> believe it or not, I mean, this uh, this body is kind of like weird. I know, it's funny. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you guys see the you guys see what's happening. Go ahead and touch, uh, not touch those, uh, squat, please. That was a one or two before, what like is that maybe, now? maybe a one, I was saying. Okay. Any better or worse saying? Uh, more or less the same. Same, yeah. So she had no difference. She feels nothing better. And if she does feel better, it's all just imaginary. So all you guys on placebo effect, she's a perfect example of that. So I'll have to do a follow-up with her um, and uh, see what she thinks in the future. But pretty good first start. Anything you want to add? Uh, no, that's just um, hoping. It's my hope. It's my, my hope. hope. Okay. It's my hope. Yeah. We're going to get her a lot better. Um, but I'm just full disclosure. You guys get to see exactly what's going on. I'm not telling her what to say. Exactly. See you next thank time. you, doctor. You're thank welcome. you so much. See, thank he even you. thanks me. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you for making me better. <laughs> she said it was either this surgery or this. He was my hope. Yes. So, why don't you tell us your story, how you got here, we'll tell you, and we'll see how you're feeling. Where okay. I was uh, trying to find, so they told me I have uh, stenosis in my back, and uh, so they, they told me you need surgery. So, when I was looking to see what kind of exercises I was supposed to do for this kind of problem in my back, 
I found him. And, and where was the pain? In your, stomach, so in your low in my, back, right? In my low back, in my number five. And you're, you're number five, okay? So it's just funny, go ahead. So and uh, so when I look at the, his videos and I saw this guy with my same problem that right after the adjustment, he was started walking with pain, of course, because you're not gonna get well right away, that's for sure. It's gonna take time, you have to be patient, which I was. I had a lot she of watched patience. the Mexican video where the guy had the walker and then went from the walker to no walker in one video. Yeah. And that's what I, I go, like, I want to go to him. Okay, so, and then I start coming three times a week, and I did it for, like, about three months, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I did not, I, I feel like, like a zigzag. Sometimes the pain was really severe, and then other days were less, and, uh, but after three months, I start seeing a little bit more comfort, and I go, oh my God, where's the pain? So in right now, I don't have the pain. I just have like like a scratch of a pain, I will say. Yeah. And just for less than a minute, or I, if I do too much, I will probably have a little bit, but nothing compared to yeah. the way I came. Her case was more interesting because uh, her her spine. What have we treated the whole time? Have I treated your low back? Yeah, no. It just was, uh, what? My, what, what do you mean, my, my back? Yeah, here? Where, where have I adjusted in your body? What's the place? Okay. Have I have I adjusted down here at all? Never. Have I adjusted your elbow? Nada. Have I adjusted your no. foot? Nope. So I'm only adjusted your neck. And what did you come in for? For my for your low back pain. Yeah. Yeah. So, exactly. so well, we, I came in. You told me. Yeah, I told her the problems exactly, but she only came in for low back pain. Yeah. Right. So uh, the interesting thing is, I had to go back. We were doing not very good with her in the beginning. It was t tough. She was again way up and down. She's being nice about it now because she's so much better. But we were really tough. We had to go back to the x-rays, and the x-rays actually showed us what was wrong. And so we went in there, and we looked, and it go, Elf, our C5 was so out that I focused on that. And we focused exactly on it. And we had to work on the depth of the adjustment. And everybody was like, a little harder on this side, not as hard on this side. Um, and that took us months to figure out. And now I think we got the secret sauce. Yeah, my pain, my, my body was a pain on the neck for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a pain in the ass, too. But thank God. Pain, pain, pain in the ass also. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go over your symptoms real quick. We had left sciatic when you first came in, down the leg. How's that? All the way, no. Okay. Left trap pain. No. Okay. You had five to six um, pain in your, uh, every day in your in your stomach or something? Yeah. Intestinal that has, pain? Yeah, that, that's been pretty good. That you had five to six per day. Yeah, so sometimes... What uh, was that? Explain what you have. Oh, the, uh, I have the... Um, I feel like the intestines were just squeezing and that the pains were really bad. And ever since he's been treating me, the pains are being like, just leaving. Okay, uh, how, so, how, uh, it was five or six times a day. What is it now, you think? Uh, right now, like maybe every two months, something like okay, that. Okay, so a lot less. A lot so how much less. better is your stomach compared to what it used to be like? Oh, a lot better. A lot, but Percentage I would wise. say 90%. Gotcha, so that's what she came in with. She didn't come in for to treat her for that, but she's 90% better in her stomach. Lastly. Uh, not that I'm trying to cure rheumatoid arthritis, but have you noticed any difference in the rheumatoid arthritis? Symptoms? Oh yeah, I can dance. Guess what? I can dance now. Can you? Show some dance. Show some dancing. What? Show some dancing. I dance, 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 dance. <laughs> <laughs> he, he wants to dance. That's I all. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> I was gonna sit down and check her out. Okay. Uh, so, uh, anyways, our adjustments are so stinking simple here now. Uh, we just worked on her shoulders a little bit. We pushed down her shoulders like we do in all the other videos. We don't eat, we adjust your shoulders, we don't stretch them, and we do a, a straightforward C5 adjustment. That's all we do. That's it. That's it. Just and she tells me, she goes, don't do anything else. No, because my body doesn't like it. You we know exactly what works on her. So she is an exact adjustment every time. So you guys get to watch it. Anything I else was you one, one of the worst patients for him. She still is. Yeah. But she's getting better here. Yes. Good. Thanks to you. Yeah. And no surgery. That's no good. Surgery, no surgery, exactly. Surgery. Uh, go ahead and lay your back, please. All right, here we go. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. Yeah. So her trick with her, that's the hardest part for her. Her trick was, um, shoot me a second. Her trick was that her right side is t harder than her left side. So I actually have to adjust harder on one side and lighter on the other side to create an equal adjustment. And this is something we just worked out. Yeah, just with time. At time, I just so had to work my body was it, and so you. it's interesting because the depth of the adjustment matters. Depth matters. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. First, you gotta really relax. If you don't relax, the break is not gonna be good, right? Yeah. We don't call it break, by the way. Well, I call it. You break me. That I call it break. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just. That's not gonna play good on the internet. I just. <laughs> 
adjustment. Yes, okay. adjusting, exactly. So C5. So what I do is I come off of T-ball prominence down here. I come right up to C5. That's right there, okay? So again, I gotta be more firm on this side. Good. Okay. That was a good sound. That was a good sound, huh? Yeah. And that was about the exact right pressure on that one. I think that was probably perfect. So on that side. And now what you're gonna see on this side, guys, is me go a lot lighter. And because when I go too heavy on this side, it actually sort of undoes the other side. So we're gonna go lighter. It doesn't like it. It doesn't like it, does it? It's already starting to go on this side. Good. You see, this one was softer. It was softer. Yeah. But it moves about the same. So the right side needed a lot more force. Left side needed less force. And this is the art of what I do, guys. The art of what I do is much more difficult than the science. The science is always straightforward, but the art is interesting. And with her, it's been an art. An art. Better. I see no pain. No pain. No pain at all. Yeah. Uh, wonderful, wonderful patient. We love her here. We always miss her. Uh, she's down to once a month. I mean, she hardly comes anymore. But uh, she worked through it. She came open-minded, worked hard. We got to where we needed to get. Thank you so much for letting me do the video. Hope you guys really enjoy Thank this. You. Thank you so much, Doctor. I really appreciate it. I know you help a lot of people just like you helped me. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys.